and her first public appearance since leaving the wellness facility, Wendy Williams discusses marriage. And her first public appearance since leaving a wellness facility in October, Wendy Williams is opening up about marriage and what she wants in a partner. In a discussion Monday night at the annual WBLS Circle of Sisters event in New York City, Williams, the former radio host, declared she can't wait to fall in love. I never deny it. But when I see a man, my first thought is, are they wearing the finger? Because if they are, I say hello right away, but I would love. I don't want to get married and I can't wait to fall in love. He should already be a father. I want him to be roughly my age, that is, maybe 10 or 15 years younger or older, you get the idea. Williams stated in a WBLS posted video. After that, we'll be able to work together on projects. Williams' remarks regarding marriage were made in January 2020, almost three years after she and Kevin Hunter officially divorced. The couple, who had been married for 21 years and had a 22-year-old son named Kevin Jr., claimed that their disagreements were irreconcilable. However, many believe that their marriage soured after it was revealed that Hunter had an affair. At the event on Monday night, the 58-year-old TV personality couldn't stop grinning. This was her first time going out after receiving treatment at the Wellness Center earlier this year. Williams accessorized her glittery black jumpsuit for the holidays with black fuzzy boots, a long houndstooth coat, and a black purse. Sean Zanotti, the publicist for the former talk show host, told that after the appearance that Wendy Williams was invited to her former radio station's annual WBLS Circle of Sisters event. After taking time off and focusing on herself, she is gracefully getting back to what she loves, Zanotti said. After Williams was released in August, Zanotti gave an update on her in October, telling Ed exclusively that Williams was home and healing and that she had been concentrating on her health recently. Williams had entered the wellness facility. Regarding the former talk show host's future plans, Zanotti stated that she already has a few fires to put out in her professional life and that Wendy is excited about the road ahead and looking forward to releasing her many projects. Following her release, Williams sent a heartfelt message to her fans, stating, Thank you to my fans for your love, support, and many prayers. Prayers, I am back and better than ever. In a statement at the time, Zanotti said, she is taking some time to focus on her health and wellness as she prepares for a major comeback for the next level in her career with the Wendy Experience podcast. This was the first confirmation that Williams had checked into the facility. Treatment for Ms. Williams is being provided by a group of internationally renowned physicians. During this time, we would appreciate your prayers and well wishes. Williams has disclosed publicly her past struggles with Graves disease and lymphedema, but no formal diagnosis has been made for her symptoms, which have included nonlinear speech, brain fog, memory loss, and hallucinations.